Hello everyone, welcome to Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studios. My name is Eniola Olatunji and, and with I, me is Wasi Wali. This week we have very interesting reports coming out from Nigeria and the US. Starting from Nigeria, the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing the unemployment data. And um, Wasi, what do you think of the trajectory of the unemployment data? What should we expect? What should our viewers expect of the unemployment data this week? Well, I think um, the trajectory has been one of um, fluctuating. Yeah, mm. fluctuating between uh, 4.1, 4.2, then 5.0 at the third quarter. Nigeria's unemployment data. Yeah, so, you know, um, <laughs> the, the MBS changed its methodology of um, calculating the unemployment. Oh, no data. wonder. It used to be like 3. The 3%, that percent, was, yes. You know, but now, um, for Q4 2022, Nigeria's uh, unemployment uh, stood at 5.3%, and for Q1, Q2, 4.1, 4.2, and then for the Q3, the third quarter of 2023, it stood at 5.0%. So that means there was a progressive growth in yes, Q3 in yes. 2023. Yes, in 2023, it was, um, you know, back and forth. Mm. All right, so um, experts see that say that uh, the, the unemployment rate might rise significantly to say 5.1, 5.2 wow. for Q4 2023. Mm -hmm. So we expect that data to be out this week. So our viewers should watch, should watch out for that. Oh, that's, that's, that's and, something to think about. And, uh, 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 for household, I mean, for... Uh, so some part of the, um, the report says that yeah. entrepreneurs have been stopping their businesses they've I've stopped doing business yes businesses. and that is one of the reasons that the unemployment data mm -hmm. keeps going high mm -hmm. so what do you think are the causes of like unemployment like, we know that smes contribute over 40 percent to nigeria's gdp, GDP. so it's some it's a thing of concern if businesses keep like running aground yes uh, the problem the problem is just very obvious um the hozu economy so to speak I've been witnessing um, some sort of downturn and this is buoyed by the hike in tariff the oh, first scarcity well scarcity that one that. Yeah. and you know it can, uh, it can cost anyone to close their business of course of course uh, it, it's it's one of the reasons why uh, businesses are shutting down because the cost of production the cost of doing the ease of doing business, business. And the, some sort of uh, bureaucratic um, processes that are involved that are involved can also, you know, lead to businesses shutting, shutting down. down. And of course, if entrepreneurs uh, who contribute as much as 40% to, to GDP are shutting down, so that makes Nigeria, uh, you know, Nigeria's economy, it, it, it could pose a dire consequence yes. on, the, the, on the, the, economy. the country's economy. So the government should wash out and should, do something about do something it. About they that need to do something about it as soon fast. as possible. Yeah. Back to the US now. The US yes. will be, um, you know, they, they, they would have a rate decision this week. Yes, on 1st of May. And um, the US has been witnessing some sort of turbulent period That's now. That's very true. In terms of the economy. Yes. So, so on what, Thursday. What should we expect? Okay. On Thursday, the US will be targeting, be deciding where to target its interest rate at. So, over this year, generally, there has been proje projections of um, a race cut, but U.S. economic data that has been coming out says otherwise. Just last week, U.S. GDP was at 1.6%. That is a two-year low. Mm. But I, I guess it was uh, the U.S. forecast was for 24 right? Yes, the, the forecast for the GDP was that was going to be um the focus was for 2.4 percent but it came out at 1.6 percent wow. and aside that even its inflation rates increased to 3.5 percent from 3.2 percent in february and generally other data as a sig as signal that the u.s can't take any rate cost right now so the u.s will likely the decision this week might be to hold rates and to hold rate at 5.25 percent to like 5.5 percent which it has been and this rate is a 20 year high because wow. the u.s has it was it's been very long the u.s has fought with very high inflation mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. the fed is fighting well, back uh, I think, at, by I think, holding rates um inflation and all of that are, are, are problems that every nation now is back yes even the UK, the uk everyone is backing very surging inflation, surging inflation yes all right so and um, also we'll be expecting 
the purchasing manager index report this week yes so what what um does that report point out also the purchasing manager index is an index by this is um released by stambic ibtc it shows the um econ- the the business, business environment. environment for each month mm-hmm. so in march the the figure the, the index was about 51 percent now for figures above 50 percent it shows that business thrived in, mm-hmm. that month. in that month but for figures less than 50 percent it shows that business really struggled to put it like to put it in simple mm-hmm. words and that's 50 51 percent was the same figure in february, february. that means that um businesses are still they're just afloat they're mm-hmm. just tr- they're just mm-hmm. so it's not are like they're barely surviving yeah they're barely surviving it's not like they're doing great and like we said earlier a lot of the economic constraints currently going on increase in um fuel prices mm-hmm. scarcity, scarcity electricity then, tariff then the forest crisis as well another thing so even in march when there was an appreciation in the naira people were agitating that it did not reflect in the prices of goods and services so if we, we might still see that the index for this for April might still be higher than 51% because mm-hmm. now we've seen like we saw a lot of um, fuel scarcity, mm-hmm. um, electric tariff, that's when high. it was introduced. Yes, so like high. it's just a really tough time for business generally. Also, mm-hmm. <laughs> like this week is for unemployment data. Mm-hmm. The US will also be releasing its unemployment data. And in February, the unemployment data was 3.9 but in march it decreased to 3.8 i think that was a breath of a breath of fresh air for mm-hmm. the u.s amongst other data that has been released and, so far and 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 what 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 should we be expecting for for the u.s data for, for the u.s data for march so far this year we've seen um, a lot of projections go, going, go south going <laughs> they south, project yeah. that oh it would go it would increase then just it like decreased. we saw in the case of the mm-hmm. gdp so we are just up I think analysts are just hopeful that the unemployment figure would also decrease, decrease. before the month of April. So that means it will be decreasing from 3.8. Yes, so maybe, 3.7, maybe 3.7. Which it has it, been for, for, for like now. three months. It was like that from like, I think November last year to mm-hmm. January. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So back to the Naira. Yeah. The Naira, uh, the Naira, Naira. Naira. Naira is on everyone's Naira, mind. Naira, I think Naira <laughs> is one of the most trending issues. It has over, to over trend. It now. has to trend, you know. Because it has it has everything to do with the living. I mean, the, our cost of living, living and everything depends on Naira, actually, because that's our legal gender. Yes. So yes. um the Naira's trajectory um last week was quite not impressive <laughs> it was poor it was poor um the naira which we have been healing <laughs> doing very well for the past two weeks um so it did last week yes and for friday i think it closed at one one thousand four hundred at, at the official at the market. official market and one thousand three and three hundred thereabouts at the parallel market and so this um suggests that the battle has also <laughs> continued you know, continues <laughs> the battle continues the battle continues so um, for this week, um, well, for Saturday, according to the traders that businesses spoke to, oh, spoke with on Friday, mm. um, on Saturday, we discovered that the net, the do- naira to dollar now sells between one thousand to thirty. That's, that's 1, down from what it started last week. Yeah, because so. at some point last week, Tuesday, Monday, it was one thousand three, mm-hmm. three seventy, three fifty, three thirty. It has been really figure. fluctuating. Yeah, so. and one of the major causes is that the dollar has been strengthening yes. against it's all currencies, currencies like worldwide currencies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there is, a, there was, a, there's a crisis going on in the Middle East, mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it spiked last week. And then investors are generally running to safe havens. And when we talk about safe havens, for a cur- for currencies, the dollar is investor's safe because haven. And when it comes to assets, the gold, gold. is safe haven. So if the dollar continue, continues to tra- strengthen this week, mm-hmm. we will continue to see a depreciation in the Naira. Although we hope that... <laughs> Well, I, I think I think more responsibility would uh, be on the federal government. Yes, to, and to, the finance minister. The finance minister to help um, the CBN, um, you know, meet its reality yes. in stabilizing the forex, the, the forex crisis. Yes. So well, um, we hope uh, that the naira rebounds. Yes. So we rebound, hope so. Bounces back this week, and um, um, the story, the good story, the good trajectory. 
continues this week. So that will be all uh, for the economic week ahead. For more in-depth analysis of our stories, you can visit our website at www.businessday.ng and follow us on our social media platform at businessday.ng. Thank you for watching. My name still remains Wasiwali. And I am Inyola Olatinji.